Hi, and welcome to the fourth part of these tutorials. I am Ervis Trupia, and together on this part, we will talk about data types. On the last part, we had a look at some basic syntax. Also, we saw that for each variable, we need to declare the data type because C Sharp is a strongly typed language. This means that you need to define the type of data that you want to store. For example, string message is equal to hello world. String is a data type, message is a variable, and hello world is a string value assigned to a variable named message in this case, which of course is of type string. The data type tells a C Sharp compiler what kind of value a variable can hold. C Sharp includes many built in data types for different kinds of data. For example, we have a string data type, integer, float, char, bool, etc. Each data type includes a specific range of values. For example, a variable of byte data type can have any value between 0 to 255. Another example would be the bool data type, which can have only two values, true or false. You can check this table of data types available in C Sharp along with a range of values possible for each data type. As you can see in this table, each data type, except string and object, include a value range. We will talk about string and object and why they do not have the size and range values defined on the next part. The size column in here shows the amount of bits needed in the memory in order to save the value of that data type. If you want to find out from the code side, simply write console.write line size of an integer in this case, and then size of int. Control F5 to see the result. This means that for each integer data type, there are four bits of memory allocated. Compiler will always give you an error if the value goes out of the data type's allowed range. Let us try that with byte. And we mentioned already that a byte can have a value between 0 to 255. So I will just write byte test is equal to 256. And here we see that we get an error. And if we hover over the error, we will see that the constant value 256 cannot be converted to a byte. Data types are further classified as a value type or a reference type, depending on the condition if the data type stores the value of the data or the reference to the stored location. Don't forget to check the next part to learn more about this classification. So, see you on the next one.